Hey everybody and welcome to today's episode of Ask Allie. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about these two Pupple Ups. These are my dogs. This is Zoe. And this is Marley. A little bit about the breed of dogs that they are and how old they are. Zoe, we believe, is a New Zealand Huntaway or an Australian Kelpie. We're not really sure. When we first got her, we thought that she was some kind of mix of like a Rottweiler and maybe a German Shepherd. But one day when we were at the dog park, a woman explained that she was definitely a Huntaway and we looked up the breed and found out a little bit more information about their temperament and it turns out she's a dead match for that type of dog. So we're not exactly sure how she came into this world, um, but my husband Charles actually adopted her in 2005 and he raised her for a couple years before I came along and she is an awesome dog. She really is intuitive when it comes to people's emotions. She really will comfort you if you're having a hard time with something. If she can tell that you're upset at all, she's right there by your side and she's very loyal. Now Marley, on the other hand, has a reputation in our vlogs and in our other videos for being a little stinker, which she is, but that makes us love her even more. We think that she is a rat terrier or some kind of terrier and Charles adopted her in 2007. She is an absolute like just crazy ham. This dog loves attention. She loves to talk or talk. I know you guys have seen that before. She has such a crazy attitude but again it's really endearing. She's a really really good dog and she's very smart. Another one of the questions that you guys typically ask is how we decided on the names for the dogs. Now Charles actually had these dogs before I knew him and he named them. I think Zoe's name before she was Zoe was Akiva. Um, I'm not sure why they were gonna name her that. And I think Charles's roommate Ricky actually suggested the name Zoe and it just kind of stuck after that. Due to Marley's sort of unique personality and her penchant for sort of screwing things up, she was named after the dog in Marley and Me. Another question that you guys typically ask is how we taught our dogs to talk. The truth of the matter is we did not teach them that. It was actually sort of accidental. Charles one day I guess was just making a lot of noise and Marley was really excited and she started sort of singing to him. And we actually discovered a little bit later, probably a few years after, that Zoe could talk as well. Hers is a very kind of deep howl and it's really funny. It actually began one day while I was playing harmonica in the house and I had no idea that she even took an interest in what I was doing but she started howling from the other room. So ever since then we've just sort of made like a little doggy chorus with the harmonica and these two girls singing. So one of the main reasons that I actually wanted to make this video today was to talk about how amazing it is that I get to do my job with my dogs. The company Purina is actually doing a campaign called Pets at Work and it's a really really cool initiative that's trying to get people to realize the benefits of having your domestic animals around at your workplace. A lot of people find that they are more productive and more relaxed when they have their pets around them and I felt very fortunate to have been able to work with my dogs every single day for the last four years. These girls are professionals when it comes to videos and they love the internet. You guys send them toys and gifts all the time and they are super spoiled and really really blessed puppies. So if you feel compelled at all to talk about your pet and your work experience, please do so. I would love to hear you guys' story. So if you want to post something on Facebook or if you want to tweet about it or if you would like to make your own video about it and post it here on YouTube, that would be awesome. In order to make sure that we all can kind of share each other's experiences, you guys should use the hashtag pets at work. It's just right here on the screen. <laughs> That was really attractive, Zoe, thank you. So if you guys want to read a little bit more about the campaign, the link is in the description below. I think it's a really, really great thing. It's something that Charles and I both believe in a lot. We obviously love our dogs to death and they are just completely a huge part of our lives. We wouldn't be where we are today without them. All right, guys, I hope I've answered a couple of your questions about my doggies. If you have any other things that you'd like to see me talk about here on this channel, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below or feel free to tweet me at any time as well. Thank you guys again for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe. Bye, guys. Thanks. Say bye, doggies. They definitely deserve a cookie. No? Maybe Zoe doesn't want it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she totally does. <laughs> Bye, guys.